Hi, I'm Dr. Chris. I'm the founder of Muscle Care. I've been a chiropractic doctor for 32 years. I've seen well over 20,000 patients. And I'll tell you, there are certain things that people tell us every time they come in with pain that cause their problems. So this means that if they didn't do those particular habits or didn't sit on those particular things or sleep a certain way, they wouldn't have pain. We wouldn't have a chronic problem epidemic where there's 160 million Americans that have pain over six months that can't be broken. We just need to look at these top 20 things and change them. And you know what? Most of them don't cost much at all. In fact, zero. So here's the deal. If you sleep on a soft bed, it's gonna hurt your back. If you sit in a soft couch or chair, it's gonna hurt your spine and your hips. If you sit in an armchair and you type with no arm rest, so your arms are up here in the air typing, you're gonna have neck and shoulder contraction and you're gonna have neck and shoulder pain. If you happen to walk around the house bare feet all the time and you don't wear a Birkenstock or an art support sandal or your orthotics or a good shoe with good support, you're probably gonna have dropping of the arches, grinding of the toe joints into the ground called metatarsalgia, and you're gonna develop Morton's neuroma, and you're gonna have all these different aches and pains in your feet that you just don't need to have. And from that, you're gonna start walking funny, and it's gonna throw off your hips and your low back. So high heels, flat flip-flops, shoes that are too flimsy, shoes that are too old, throw them away, okay? This starts a kinetic chain nightmare from the bottom up. Get rid of that. People that sleep on their stomachs, will always torque the heck out of their neck and get headaches. If you sleep on a pillow that's too thin and doesn't support you when you're on your side and you sleep like this, you will have a neck nerve compression and you will have degenerative disc problems in your neck. At night, if you happen to sleep on your side and you twist and torque as well, you'll end up with a lower back problem. As far as exercise goes, if people run with a really flimsy shoe or they run barefoot, these are the things that will contribute to back and knee and hip problems. As far as biking goes, if you bike on a, with a seat that's really low so that on every revolution, your leg isn't straightening out, you'll develop hamstring tightness, hip flexor tightness, calf tightness, etc. So again, easy things to fix. If you wanna swim long distance, you don't necessarily have to swim front crawl and keep turning your head on every stroke. Put a pair of goggles on, put a snorkel on, keep your head down the whole time. It's called neck neutral and you won't have any neck or shoulder strain at all. So these are some of the things that pop out. As far as texting, you know, what about stretching your arms and hands? Stretching for 15 minutes a day in the morning in the shower or out of the shower has a dramatic impact on reducing the accumulation of tension in your muscles that causes pain. How about core exercises? Everyone tells us that core is just, you know, really they focus on the stomach. What you should do is lie on your stomach and do alternating arm and leg raises so you can strengthen the back to actually hold you in a balanced state. How about hydration? At least eight glasses of water a day? Absolutely. You know, we need fluid in our system to help things stay supple and relaxed. Muscles that get tensed are often those of people that don't drink or eat a lot of dairy, and I'm okay with that because I don't either, but you have to get calcium and magnesium in your system for your bone development and for your muscles to stay flexible. So again, think about your magnesium intake if your body's really stiff. These are just some of the things that we see day to day. I'd strongly encourage you to try to work on some of those and stop your own pain first. I'm Dr. Chris. I look forward to seeing you get out of chronic pain.